everyone. Now that you just witnessed the worst intro in the world, um, tell you what we're doing today. Today I am going to Target with Mia in Aspen and we are going to put together a video of a few things that every service dog should know for public access um, or before they go into public access. So I think that's going to be a really fun educational video. Also, I would like to show you guys a couple of things that I always keep in my bag when going out on errands and stuff like that uh, with Sirius. Uh, first of all, um, obviously just a regular vest. Today we're using our P&L. Next is a treat pouch. Um, I always have it full. He's still a puppy, so he gets lots of reinforcement still. Um, and just in case we run into any obstacles. Next, we have doggy wipes. Um, I always keep these just in case like his paws get muddy or God forbid an accident happens. I have something to clean it up with. Next, I have my CSJ Creations leash and my P&L leash wraps. I also like to keep a little bowl in my bag. This one is just from like Burlington or something um, in my bag just in case he needs a drink of water or for out longer than I expect. Next, um, a little poop bag thingy uh, made from uh, Creative Saints on Instagram um, just to carry some poop bags. It's just like this cute little hangs off my bag. And lastly, my e-collar technologies. Um, I don't touch his leash a lot, but um, he does know that when his e-collar is on, it's time to work. So, yes. So now that I've shown you what's normally in my bag for when we go out, Next time you see us, we will be walking into the store or in the parking lot and how a service dog should act on leash when getting out of the car and into the store. So, see you then. Cool. Here you see Sirius unloading from the car and going into a heel. Next you will see me giving Sirius the option to go potty on command and he takes it. This is a good practice to do before you enter any store. Here you see Aspen and Mia taking their time walking into the store in an orderly heel. She is not pulling at the chance to walk into the store and she is paying attention to Mia and the pace that she is going. Every service dog and service dog in training should be able to walk nicely with the attention on the handler around food. Here you see Sirius giving me his attention instead of giving his attention to the meat surrounding him. Here you see Aspen practicing a nice tight heel and then you will see her sit on command. This is a practice of good obedience training before public access. Here you see both the dogs practicing a down and leave it in the dog aisle at Target, ignoring treats and toys. Here, both Sirius and Aspen are demonstrating a come command into a heel. Here, Mia is videotaping how Sirius walks in a heel around carts, people, distractions, and merchandise. Service dogs and service dogs in training should never stop to sniff merchandise or pick things up off of the ground. Here is a great example of Sirius walking at my pace and watching for when I stop. Here, a person had to move their cart and Sirius looked to me to see when to move. He keeps walking in a tight heel. You will see him think about sniffing this person and then look away. These dogs are still very much in training and young, so they do make mistakes sometimes. For some strange reason, Sirius decided to get scared of Mia and Aspen behind him, but he recovered nicely. Here is Aspen demonstrating how she walks past merchandise without stopping to sniff 
and looking to Mia for more guidance. Service dogs and service dogs in training should be able to ignore other working dogs and anything else they encounter. Here, I'm moving Sirius around a lot to try to distract Aspen. As you can see, she's not going to break her sit, and Sirius is going to continue to do as I ask. Here comes another great example of the dogs ignoring each other while they're working, even when they're sitting face to face. As said before, service dogs should be able to ignore all distractions like people and weird sounds like this turning majigger in the toy section. No PA trip would be complete without a medical episode of some sort. So here's serious tasking in the bedding aisle. I dropped some treats on the floor by accident and Aspen did a really great job of leaving it and so did Sirius. Before having public access rights, service dogs in training must have great obedience, be potty trained, have their rabies shot, and most importantly, be actively learning a task or have a task underneath their belt. In this clip, you see Sirius practicing his crowd control command as well as a block command. This clip is another great example of walking next to food and ignoring it. Unfortunately, we do run into instances where there's drive-by petting. In these next few clips, you will see both Sirius and Aspen both actively working on ignoring drive-by petting and clicking. Unfortunately, in very crowded places, people tend to reach for any part of the dog they can, and that includes their tail. <laughs> in this clip, you'll see Mia trying to grab his tail. What you don't see is Sirius licking my hand and giving me an alert. I then check my watch, and surely enough, it is 102. Walking next to a cart is not a must for public access, but it is great practice. Quick side note, can we take a minute to appreciate this get it? I'm so proud of him. While in checkout, service dogs should be able to stand by politely and not create any disturbances in the aisles or the surrounding areas. Here you will see Sirius doing a block, creating space between me and the public. And just as they walked in the doors of the store, service dogs should be able to walk calmly and not pull on the ends of their leash as they exit the store. Here Sirius is demonstrating that beautifully as well as walking next to a cart in a heel. He kind of drifts away, but then he corrects himself and comes back. Parking lots can be tricky and a little bit dangerous if you're not looking everywhere. Sirius is in a tight heel and he is at my side making sure that if there is a car, nothing is going to happen to him and we can get out of the way quickly. Also, for some reason, I decided I was going to ride the cart. Um, don't try this at home. That's it. See you guys at home. Okay, so I forgot to film an outro when it was light outside, so now I it's not the same lighting but anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it was helpful or maybe taught you something you didn't know or i don't know i thought it would be a great refresher and for both Sirius and i and if anybody in the community needs um, a little reminder of what a public access trip should look like and how a service dog should act in the meantime i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you guys want to see next. I have a few things I'd like to do, but we'll see. Give this video a like, comment down below if that's what the YouTubers say, subscribe. Um, and I hope everybody has a great um, rest of your day or night or week or whatever you need. Stay safe, wear a mask, and see you guys later. Bye.